Thank you. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little late thing leaner who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuma And strives. I hope we didn't forget anything. Let's see, I've got the roller and the paint. I got the hats, drop sheets, and the brushes right here. We're all set. Animal Junction's gonna look even better after we're finished. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get started. <laughs> Today, we're painting Animal <laughs> Junction. Yeah, so all sorts of amazing animals will find us. Let's call Zabu. Zabu! Do you think Zabu will help us paint? Zabu! Zabumafu! Hey, Zabu! Hello, buddy! Oh, he's really leaping today. Zabu, we're painting the place. You want to help us? Zabu? Come on, we have the paint and everything. Want to help? Well, you know Zabu. First he snacks, then he yaks. I'll get him some. Let's see. What a jackpot! Look at all these colors. Zabu's gonna love this. Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. <laughs> yeah. Grab a brush and help us paint. Brush, brush, yeah, brush. I think we should paint Animal Junction green, because green is a yummy color. <laughs> yeah, green is a yummy color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll paint it green and lots of other colors. Lots of colors. That reminds me of the animal I saw. He had lots of colors and stripes. Stripes? Uh -huh. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. He had a big furry head in front and a long twitchy tail in the back. He was a playful four-legged creature and he liked to hide. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. At first I couldn't see him, but then when I looked again, there he was. An orange stripey wildcat. Do you know who he is? We can figure this out. Okay, let's see. Orange fur, black stripes. The stripes! That could only be a tiger cub. Tiger cub. Manga striper! Mystery animals here! Martin, what's that sound she's making? She's practicing her growls, Abu, making sure we know that she's pretty tough. Yeah, don't forget, tigers are the biggest cats in the whole world. Brothers, I know big when I see it, and she's not big. <laughs> she's not now, but she will be when she grows up. When she was born, she only weighed as much as a jug of milk. But when she grows up, she'll be 500 pounds or more, as heavy as a motorcycle. Wow. But for now, she's just a stripy little tiger cub. I can't believe my mind how many stripes she has. Yeah. I love tiger cub stripes. I'll call her Stripey. Yeah. OK, Stripey the tiger cub. Hey, what if we paint Animal Junction with tiger stripes? Great idea, Zabu. Yeah, Animal Junction with tiger stripes everywhere. 
Painting is great, no matter what you paint. And no matter what you paint with. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stripey, you can help us. Here's the paint. Whoa. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Here's the drop cloth and the brushes. I have the hats. One for you, Zob. Hey, thanks. But who turned out the lights? So what do we do first? What do we do first? First, we have to put down the drop cloth. Okay, put down the drop cloth. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights again? Have you ever heard of a ghost gleamer? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. <laughs> okay, Stripey, well, hold still so we can see your stripes. Yeah, we're going to Tiger Stripe Animal Junction, so the whole place looks like stripes. <laughs> I'm painting orange and black tiger stripes. <laughs> Way to go, Zabu. It's a good thing all three of us are painting this. There's a lot of tiger stripes. We're almost there. Yeah. All done. Finished. All right. <laughs> Chris Martin, you've got tiger stripes and you're behind. Huh? You both have stripey behinds. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chris and Martin have stripey behind, stripey behind. <laughs> so we have tiger stripes on our behind, but where's the tiger? Oh. Try looking behind you. Where? Do you see the tiger anywhere? He's hiding in our stripes. There he is. <laughs> Way to hide, Stripey. That's why a tiger has stripes, to hide. His stripes help him blend in with all the shadows of the forest. Stripey, are you trying to hide now? <gasps> I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Look, a new animal visitor, a spotty cat. <laughs> Yeah, she's a serval kitten, Zob. Hey, and there's another one. A tiger cub and serval kittens together. It can only happen in Animal Junction. Serval kittens are covered in spots, just like Stripey is covered in stripes. Spots and stripes. Are you thinking? What I'm thinking? Let's paint spots in Animal Junction. Serval spots. Animal Junction will look even better with stripes and spots. Let's do it! I got it. I'm painting spots, black spots and orange fur, just like the serval. All right, and this will be our serval wall. Just lay down the tawny coat like that, and I'll put on the spots. We're finished. All right. Hey, where did serval kittens go? I can hear them, but I can't see them. Where could they be? I don't see them anywhere. Can you see any servals? No, oh, there they are. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the servals blended right into the spots and stripes we painted. Serval kittens have great camouflage. Camouflage? What's camouflage? Camouflage is what helps a creature blend into his surroundings so other creatures can't see him. Take a leopard. Do you see her? There she is. Yeah, good eyes! But you can only see her really close up. You go a little further back, and boom, she's gone! That's camouflage. Hey, what's that sound? Sabu, look behind you! Hmm? Manga and Sika! More animals are here to play with tiger cub and servals. <laughs> I said it once, and I'll say it again. This could only happen in Animal Junction. Kawadis, servals, and tigers all together? Look at this. Kawadis have striped tails. See the stripes? Look at the pattern on a Kawadi's face. White circles around the eyes. <laughs> hmm? Kawadis love tiger cubs. Well, they're climbing all over them. <laughs> they went up on the porch, Stripey. Yeah, there they are. Go get them, tiger. <laughs> Stripey's so friendly. Wow. 
Mangatsika, her paws are huge. Almost as big as half a baby kawadi. <laughs> They're having fun. You know what? I'm feeling tiger cubbish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel tigerish. How about you, tigerish? <laughs> Stripey little wild cat, and I know how to hide. Tigerish. Back to painting. What do you want to paint now, Zob? Uh, more tiger stripes. Tiger cub has stripes everywhere. And Dalmatians have <gasps> spots everywhere. Dalmatians? What are Dalmatians? <laughs> Over here, Zob! Dalmatians on me! <laughs> 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 I'm covered in spots. Dalmatian spots. Spots and stripes <laughs> together again. <laughs> Dalmatian doesn't have camouflage spots. He has licky spots. We have all kinds of spots and stripes here today. Painted ones and creature ones. Hey, we should paint some Dalmatian spots in Animal Junction. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Dalmatian spots are fun because you can do so many things with them. You can do little spots or big blotchy spots. Hey, Zob, let's paint this section exactly like that puppy over there. Which one? That guy. Oh, the little one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that little guy. I just have one spot on my belly, but he has them all over. Mm. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to paint. I, that's my favorite. Look out. Look out, guys. Uh -oh, sorry. Whoa! Hey, careful! Whoa, it's hard to paint with a Dalmatian pulling on your tail. Whoa! 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 whoa. Wait! Dalmatian! Let, no, let go! Whoa! 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 Bet you thought I was gonna fall. Not this time. Whoa. How are we gonna get any painting done when these puppies want to play? That's it. Let's play! Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah. If we tire them out, they'll have to take a nap, and then we can start painting again. Hmm? Come on, puppies! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Whoops! Whoa. Hey, come back with my hat! <laughs> <laughs> There's your hat. <laughs> hey, come back here. Hey, maybe they're getting tired. I don't think so, Chris. Oh, I know how to get them to go to sleep. I can tell them a nighttime story about one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> Great idea, Zob. Okay, listen up, everybody. Oh, I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. <laughs> when I bumped into Sensei. <laughs> oh, oh, he was very excited. Oh, Zabu, Zabu. Nah, I really want to test my senses. Nah, my smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Nah, can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, Sensei. Nah, on. One, two, nah, nah, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree, and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even Sensei can see me here. Say Zabu! I can smell you, but I can't see you. You here? I'm over here. Oh, wow, what sense is My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking. <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me, Zabu with stripes, camouflage stripes. Sensei thought my joke was so funny that he laughed for the rest of the day. The end. It looks like everybody's still awake. Kawadi, Servals, and Stripey are still playing. Huh? I guess my naptime story didn't really work on the animals. But it sure worked on Martin and Chris. Playing with the spotty Dalmatians really tired them out. He's sleeping. I just got a great idea. I'm gonna paint Martin spotty. Then he'll look just 
just like a Dalmatian. Now I'm gonna put stripes on Chris, and he'll look just like stripes. Ta-da! We did it, Stripey Chris and Spotty Martin. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep during the story. Where's Chris? Chris? Hey, Chris! Over here! Where are you, Martin? I'm over here! Hey, hey you're camouflaged by spots! And you're camouflaged in stripes. There's only one creature who could have done this. Do you know who it could be? Yeah, Sabu! <laughs> I painted Dalmatian spots on you, just like the puppies. And tiger stripes on you, like Stripey. And you didn't even wake up. <laughs> spotty and Stripey. Mm, 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 mm. The Krat brothers are Spotty and Stripey. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Incoming duck! <laughs> it's not a duck, it's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon. Yeah, Sticky Feet has stripes too, on his legs. Yeah. Stripes are everywhere in the creature world. Mm. Let's see if Jackie's into stripes. Hi, it's me, Jackie. I was butterfly watching, and I discovered how monarch butterflies are spotted and striped. I was looking at these milkweed plants when I found the creature who turns into the monarch butterfly, stripey monarch caterpillars. Those caterpillars ate the milkweed leaves till they were stuffed. Then they spun a cocoon, and they turned into a monarch butterfly with lots of spots. It was pretty amazing. So if you see one of these milkweed plants in your garden, don't pick it. To you, it might look like a weed, but to a butterfly, it's home. Monarch caterpillars have great camouflage stripes. So does Chris. There are all kinds of incredible spots, stripes, and patterns out there in the creature world. So let's check them out. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> 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 oh. <sighs> The closet knocked their spots and stripes off. Manga Zika! Come on! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, buddy. Bye, brothers. Chris and I are in a race to find as many spotted and striped creatures as we can. I'm looking for striped creatures. And I'm looking for spotted creatures. Okay, Martin, let's synchronize our watches and meet back here at 0900 hours. Got it, 0900. You ready? All right, let's go. Oh. Hey, you, hubba hubba. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A whole herd of zebra. Now that's a lot of strife. And all those stripes are great protection from predators like lions. When a lion looks at a zebra herd, it's hard to tell where one zebra ends and the other begins. That makes them harder to catch. But me and my horse don't have zebra stripes, so we better get out of here. I wonder if Martin found any spotted creatures yet. Coming. But how could I miss him? He must have the biggest spots in the creature world. And those spots and long neck make a giraffe look like a tree trunk standing in the shadows. Another camouflaged creature. <laughs> Whoa. I better get moving if I want to spot some more spotted creatures. Hey, I wonder how Chris is doing. I'm playing peekaboo with a banded mongoose. Check it 
Check him out. Mongoose stand up like that so they can see over the tall grass. Look at her back. Do you see what I see? Stripes! That's two striped creatures I've seen. I wonder if Martin's having as much luck as I am. Spotted creatures, dead ahead! Are we in luck? A pack of spotted hyenas. See why they're called spotted hyenas? They have spots all over them. But you know, they're not all spotted. Baby spotted hyenas are dark, dark brown with no spots. Well, that's two spotted creatures. Whoa, they get going. All right, I'm sure I'm gonna win this race. Hey, you think we'll get a better view if we climb a tree? Yes. Me too. Come on. Creature. A cheetah chilling in the grass. Whoa, and look! More spotted cats coming this way. Cheetah comes. And these little spotted cats really know how to wrestle. Now there's a great striped faced creature. A cheetah cub. Oh, 0900 hours. Time to find Chris. Martin! <laughs> right on time! Yeah, and we found some creatures that were spotted and striped. Hey, I also found a spotted hyena. Did you? I saw a banded mongoose. Oh, I love it. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Maybe we'll see a lot of other creatures on our way back. Back to Animal Junction! And you know Zabu's gonna be up to something good. Do you hear Zabu? No, I don't. Well, let's check it out. Hey! What's going on? Whoa, skunk alert! A whole litter of skunks! Amazing! More striped baby creatures in Animal Junction. And they're not just stripey, they're stinky too. If a full-grown skunk sprays you with her stink, it can last on your clothes for a year. <laughs> well, we found five skunks, but where's Zabu? I'm right here, but they'll never find me. <laughs> I'm right here, guys! I can hear him, but I can't see him. I'll be here! Where is that lemur? I don't know, but if he stunk like the skunks, we'd find him easy. No, no, don't lick me, don't lick me, no, 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 don't lick me, don't lick me, no, 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 you're gonna give me away, stop licking, they're gonna see me. <laughs> there he is, the puppies found him. Yeah, I'm a new kind of lemur, a spotted lemur. <laughs> hey, have you met the skunks yet, Sabu? <sighs> Stinky. Five stinky skunks. And look at that skunk pattern. That's not for hiding. That's for letting other creatures know that the skunk is here. It's the skunk's way of saying, here I am, and don't get too close or I'll spray you. You wouldn't want to be sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> you trying to climb up my lake? Come on, you can make it. Come on. <laughs> I love it. A striped skunk climbing a spotted lemur. Spots and stripes, together. Right, skunks? Hey, you know what? I remember another story from Sabu Land. I was leap leaping along, leap 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 leap. When I bumped into Narchi, oof! I said, "Hi, Narchi. I've been wondering, why do you have that spot on your belly?" Oh, see if you can guess, Sabu. Let me think about it for a little while. Okay, guess away. I don't know. Okay, let's see if uh, Fibby can guess why I have a spot on my belly. Fibby? <laughs> your belly button? No, nope, belly buttons aren't smooth and orange. Oh. How about you, Google? <laughs> oh. 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 Can you guess what my spot is? Oh, I think it's a Googleberry stain from when a Googleberry hit you in the belly. Oh, is it? Is it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Good guess, Google. Oh, That's what? not it either. <laughs> Besides, I like zoot fruit better. Well, I'm ready to guess now. Does it help you to hide? You know, to camouflage you? No, oh, I guess I'll have to tell you. It's there to show me where my belly is. And I gotta say, I think it makes me look good, too. <laughs> oh. So Narchi's spot made us all understand that creatures <laughs> have spots and stripes for a lot of different oh. reasons. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Today was a really spotty, stripey day. <laughs> what was your favorite part, Sam? Oh, when the spots and stripes played together. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, <laughs> and I loved it when you painted spots and stripes on me and Chris. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs>
I liked meeting all those incredible spotted and striped creatures. Oh, yeah. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Yeah! yeah. I gotta show the world my spots. See ya. Bye, Zav. And there are so many more spotted creatures out there. Let's keep on hitting the creature trail. Spots and stripes forever. Hi, my name is Matthias Bieber. And my name is Martin Bieber. These are our dogs. Hi, we're the Krat Brothers. Every creature adventure knows you have to be careful around animals. Because sometimes an animal can get a little scared of you, and then she might think she has to defend herself. That's why you should only get close to an animal when an adult says it's okay. Right, Zabu? To learn more about Zabumafu, visit our website at pbskids.org. You can also write to the Krats at this address. Now for some jokes from Zabumafu. Chris, I got a joke for you. What is it? What do you get when you put together a bird, a car, and a dog? Hmm, let me see. A bird, a car, and a dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Zab. What? <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> A flying carpet. <laughs> a flying carpet. <laughs> a flying carpet. Because a bird flies and a car and a dog is a pet. Well, I thought it was funny. I'm glad somebody liked it. Did you know that ducks can fly over 2,000 miles when they migrate? I got a joke. Why don't ducks tell jokes when they're flying? Because they would quack up. <laughs> And now for a joke from Zabumafu. Did you know that frog eggs are black and round and all clumped together? Wow, a frog lays those round eggs? Yeah, Zob. Well, Chris, Chris, I got a joke for you. What is it, Zob? What did the frog say when she laid a square egg? I don't know. What did the frog say when she laid a square egg? Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! 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 Just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Zabuma Foo. Come along and see what's new. We're doing the things that animals do. New animal friends to see. Animal junk says the place to be. One day, Chris and Martin saw something strange A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play They followed their new bouncing friend Not knowing where this adventure would end The animals were headed just around the bend Where are they going? I don't know How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Me and you and Zabuma Foo Come along and see what's new Friends to see, animal junk says the place to be. Elephants charging, baboons are leaping, wild dogs running and nobody's sleeping. Me and you and Zabuma Foo, come along and see what's new. We're doing the things that animals do. 
Sand creatures. This has been the sandstorm of the century. The door's stuck. I'll try getting to the top. Got it. We're in. Chris, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> you know that sandstorm that hit us in the desert? It hit Animal Junction, too. Unbelievable. The place is covered in sand. And so are we. That's one of the great things about creature adventuring in the desert. You'll always bring a little bit of the desert back with you. Sand. But me, I always bring a lot of sand back. Talk about getting sand in your shoe. <laughs> now that is a lot of sand. <laughs> you know, having all this sand in Animal Junction's great. It's like having our own beach. Where we can play beach volleyball. <laughs> your surf, Chris. All right. Hey, let's call Zabu. Zabu! Hey, Zabu, get in here! <laughs> nice work, Chris. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! <laughs> Sandstorm's over, buddy! Zabu, my boo! Have you seen him anywhere? Hey! Zabu came in through the roof! <laughs> I'll get him a snack. There's always something good in the snack machine. What do we have for Zabu today? <laughs> I think he's found a snack already. He always finds the tasty leaves. Don't chase a boomer food. Zob? Uh-oh. Sand? I don't think Zabu wants to eat sand. Let's try again. Now that's more like it. Something nice and sweet. Zabu's such a good buddy. <laughs> Zabu, I have a mango! Mangoes are slimy, but Zabu loves them. Yeah, he loves all the snacks. <laughs> that was yummy. How you doing? I have a joke. Yeah. Two seagulls are flying over a beach. One of them says, caw, caw, caw. And the other one says, funny, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Another good one, <laughs> oh, That was funny. Manga Tsika. I can't believe my mind. Animal Junction is covered with sand. Wow. Yeah, it's everywhere. In between my toes, too. Sand feels good on my toes. I like sand. Yeah, it feels good. Sand is fun to play in. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Manga Tsika animal I saw was playing in the sand. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? This creature likes to pop out of the sand. She lives in the sand with her friends. And she loves the sand. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Claws! Amazing claws for digging sand! <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? She's a sand-loving creature who's always with a friend. Do you know who she is? Good clue, Zabu. Yeah, let's review. Long pointy face, pops up out of holes in the sand, digs holes, I know who the mystery animal is. A meerkat. Looks like more meerkats to me. You're right. There are two meerkats. Wait, make that three. Where? There. Ah, mystery animals are here. Ah! Meerkats are incredible little creatures who live in the African desert. And they love checking out everything. They're exploring the sand dunes. Meerkats exploring everything in Animal Junction. <laughs> Including me. I'm gonna call you Sandy, you Sandra, and you Sandwich. Come here, cat. You don't look like a cat to me. I'm not a kitty cat. 
That's because meerkats aren't even cats at all. Well, what are they then? Chickens? No, Zob. Meerkats are members of the mongoose family. They're really smart little creatures who care a lot about each other. Meerkats live together in big groups of up to 30 members, and they watch out for each other too. Meerkats are very fun, very busy, very curious little mongooses. Yeah, they're trying to find out everything in Animal Junction. And I know why meerkats like being in the sand. It feels so great. <laughs> it sure does, Zav. Yay! I'll go in the sand oh. if it's shiny. Oh, I'll go in if it's Kubelberry gooey. I like Kubelberry. Meerkats are always on the move. But you know what I keep wondering? What, Martin? Well, meerkats are desert creatures, right? So even though there's so much sand in Animal Junction, it's not a desert. So what brought the meerkats to Animal Junction? Exactly. Maybe water. Maybe. Maybe. They might be thirsty and looking for water. All right, meerkats, to the water! Woo! Gotta be wet. <laughs> hey, where'd the meerkats go? And where's Zabu? They were right behind us. <laughs> we checked out the water and we're all wet. But the meerkats don't seem to be interested in water at all. Well, what do they want to do? Huh? Look at that. You've got paws and claws. Well, I've got hands and nails. Know what I like to do with them? Climb. Come on, let's all climb. Come on, guys, follow me. Climb, climb. Climbing's fun. Huh. I guess they don't want to climb. Well, maybe they want to leap. Come on. Leap, leap. Leaping's fun. <laughs> huh. They don't want to climb or leap. Now, who wouldn't want to do that? Maybe the meerkats want to do what meerkats really love to do. What? Dig. Huh. Dig? Oh. See the meerkats' extra long claws? They're like mini shovels, and they're great for digging. Hey, let's dig like the meerkats. Come on, you can do it. I really dig this. <laughs> Get it, dig? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when you dig like a meerkat, you always dig between your legs. Meerkats dig a lot to make their amazing underground homes. These homes can have 90 entrances with a tangle of tunnels connecting underground chambers. Wow, what a home. But they're not moving in. No, they're not looking for a home here. But they are looking for something. What could it be? Hmm. Maybe they're hungry. When a meerkat's hungry, he sniffs around, <laughs> sniffing for scorpions or millipedes or any other kind of creepy crawly that might be good to eat. Once she smells her prey, she springs into action. She grabs her prey, then she chows down on whatever she sniffed out. No doubt about it, meerkats are great sniffers. <laughs> they sniff? Monkatsika! I'm a meerkat sniffer! <sighs> I got sand in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he had sand up his nose? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hurry up, Martin. I have. It's you. It's you. Lemur can sure sneeze. I still don't know what the meerkats are looking for. But there's one thing I do know. I'm feeling meerkatish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel meerkatish. How about you? Meerkatish. I'm feeling kind of meerkatish. Mama, 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 meerkatish. I don't think the meerkats were hungry after all. Okay, so we know the meerkats didn't come to Animal Junction for food. Right. Or for a nap. 
Right. Or to drink. Mm, right. Okay, so why did the meerkats come to Animal Junction? Well, maybe they came here to rest. Look, they're chilling out. They're not chilling. Heads up, they're warming up. Warming up? Martin's right. Desert nights are cold, so in the morning, meerkats stand up and face the sun. That's a great way to warm their cold bodies. Yeah, but by noon, it gets very hot. So now the meerkats really do have to chill out. So you know what a meerkat does? She digs a hole in the sand and sprawls in it on her belly. The sand is so cool that it cools down her whole body, and that feels good on a hot meerkat belly. Hey, let's try it. Yeah, sand sure feels good on my belly. Yeah, they're cool and refreshing. Perfect for chilling out when it gets hot. Hey, you want to hear what happened to me once in Zabu land? Yeah. I was <laughs> leaping along, leap, 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 and I landed oof, next to Snow Lemur. He was playing in the sand. Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, hi, Zabu. You know, when I come down to Sabu land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah, oh yeah, it's cool in the morning. Yeah, oh, yeah. and it reminds me of the snow on top of Mount Sabu Mafu. Oh yeah, oh, it feels good. Oh, oh I yeah. like the sand too. Huh? It tickles my fingers. Oh <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, the sand tickles my sides too. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it tickles my sides too. <laughs> can't tickle our sides. Oh, What's I going on? All right, Slabu. It's not Sam. It's me. It's me. I don't know who's tickling you. So Snow Lemur, wow. Fibby, and I spent the rest of the morning playing in the sand together. <laughs> Martin? Uh, Chris? What's that sound? Hear that? A meerkat call. That's a Mungatsika sound you're making, Sandwich. I think she's trying to talk with the other meerkats outside. I think the rest of the meerkats are outside. Let's go see. <gasps> you're right, Zob. They're talking to the rest of the group who are just outside. That makes sense. Meerkats always stick together and talk together. They communicate with clucks, chirps, grunts, and murmurs. Meerkats talk to each other because they depend on each other. They hunt together, babysit each other's young, build homes together, and watch each other's backs. Somebody's always on the lookout for enemies while the other meerkats are off exploring. That's it! Yeah, you know what? Those meerkats didn't come to Animal Junction to drink. <laughs> or to take a nap in a burrow. Or to eat or climb. They came to explore. And with their trusty guards outside, they could play all they wanted until it was time to go home. See you later, meerkats! Yeah, come back anytime. And next time, bring the whole pack back. Incoming! Duck! Hit the sand! Whoa! Whoa! That was a nice landing. And this time? Whoa! This time it is a duck. It's a duck, it's a duck, it's a duck. With a message in a bottle. It must be from Jackie. I love walking along the beach because so many creatures live in the sand. Like this guy, a hermit crab. Hermit crabs are so amazing. They eat fruit and other things they find lying on the beach. And they live in shells that snails used to live in. They walk all over the beach, but they're never far from home. That's because they carry their homes on their back. Where are those hermit crabs going? Hey guys, I think these hermit crabs want to move into my castle. I love my shell collection, and I like it best on the beach, where it belongs. A beach is an incredible place to check out creatures. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many amazing creatures live in, under, or above the sand. And are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know where they're going. To, to the, the beach. beach. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. How are we going to get to the closet with all this sand blocking the door? No problem, Chris. We'll just switch to plan D. 
plan D. Yeah, D for digging, like the meerkats. You know what's gonna happen next? I don't wanna see this. Time to hit the beach. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Yes! We're here at the beach to see those amazing creatures who live in, on, and beneath the sand. Like those ibis. They're sticking their beaks in the sand and eating little creatures. <laughs> and one of the great things about sand is that it always lets you know who's been around. Sea turtle tracks. You're right, Chris. Wow. And there she is. She's heading back for the ocean. She must have laid her eggs on the beach. Sea turtles lay eggs in the warm sand. About 50 days later, the eggs hatch. The first thing the baby sea turtles have to do is crawl out of the sand. These little creatures have to crawl through about a foot of packed sand to get to the surface. The second thing the baby sea turtles have to do is scramble down the beach towards the water. They boogie to the sea as fast as they can. The hatchlings aren't the only ones on the beach. A crocodile. And black vultures, too. And they're looking for dinner. Sea turtle dinner. So the baby sea turtles really have to move. I think they're going to sneak by. They're going to make it. He's almost there. All right. He made it. In the sea, where every sea turtle belongs. The sea is the place to be if you're a sea turtle. There are a lot of great creatures out here. But you know, living in sandy places is rough. For one thing, it's hot. And for another, it's hard to find any fresh water. Yeah, and I'm thirsty. Well, you know the old saying, if you're thirsty, follow the creatures who know where the water is. Camels! Maybe a camel will lead us to one of the greatest watering holes around. Animal, Animal Junction. Junction. Let's see, uh, one, <sighs> two, we two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> what are you doing, Sof? Well, look at my buddy. I counted eight legs. She's also got two big claws. A scorpion. Huh? A scorpion lives in the sand and can go for months without eating or drinking. And you know what else? Their babies don't hatch from eggs. They're born live and bright white. See them? For about a week, they ride on their mom's back until they can get around on their own. Ride on their mom's backs, just like baby lemurs. Hey, Zob. Huh? We got somebody we want you to meet. Who? Who? Manga Sika. You're huge. Yeah, he is huge. He's a camel, Zob. And he's one of the tallest sand creatures in the world. He must be one of the biggest, too. Maybe being so big and tall makes it easier for him to spot food in the desert. A camel eats a lot and stores fat on his back, which makes the hump. This one-humped camel is called a dromedary. Dromedary. <laughs> dromedary. Good name. <laughs> I think I'll call him Dromeo. Over here, Dromeo. Here. Want some to eat? Yeah. Here, have some carrot. Yeah, oh, you have carrots, Zob. Camels love carrots. Here, have another carrot. Wow. <laughs> it's good, huh? Look at these lips, how they grab for the carrot. <laughs> They're like little fingers, two little fingers. Look at this, come on closer. It's so neat. Two little fingers grabbing. One, two. They're grabbing for it. I better give it to them. There we go. Look at those fingers grab. <laughs> Chew like a camel. A camel chews his food really slowly, moving his mouth from side to side. That's ultimate camel grinding action. Hey, want some more? Here you go. 
And check out his feet. Oh, wow. They're so big and wide. Here, take a look at my feet. Yeah, they're perfect for climbing. Yeah. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> hey, no, no, don't pull me off. <laughs> Crazy camel. A camel doesn't climb, but he does walk on soft, sinky sand. Which means a camel needs feet that are big and wide and all spread out. Kind of like these flippers. A camel's big round feet help him walk through the sand without sinking in. Hmm? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I don't think Chris is the best sand walker. But a camel is. Camels are built for sand. They even love rolling in it. Camels love rolling in the sand. <laughs> hey, Sam, you gotta try this. <laughs> I'm rolling like a camel. <laughs> Great way to cool off on a hot day. <laughs> and it sure helps if you're itchy, too. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Yeah, feels good, huh? Rolling in the sand. Hey, I knew somebody who liked to spin in the sand in. Oh, yeah. In Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I bumped into Noggin Drill. Oh, oh. I said, hello, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zabu. Oh. Watch your hand. Oh. I'm looking for a sandy place to dig my home in. Uh, have you seen one? Well, gee, I don't know. How about over there, uh, where Google is? Oh, oh, oh hi. Oh. I can't dig over there. It's too hard. Google shows Abu how hard the ground is over there. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, pretty hard. Uh, see, the ground is just like rock. I can't dig a home there. Well, there's got to be another place that's soft and sandy. Well, I don't know where to look, Zabu. I think I know who can help us. Uh, Follow me. Uh, <laughs> uh, go, good luck. Uh, uh. So I took Noggin Drill to see Green Puppy. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Green Puppy. Is this a good place for digging? And she said, Oh, yes, 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 it's sandy and soft here. Hey, it's great for digging. So I said, why don't you try it, Noggin Drill? Well, okay, Zabu, I'll give it a whirl. Here it goes. So Noggin Drill started to spin around and around. He spun up in the sky, and then he spun down in the sandy ground. Oh, he's doing it. How's your hole, Noggin Drill? It's soft and sandy, just the way I like it. Come on in and see my new home. So I did. Oh, oh, sorry, Zabu. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> the end. Great story, Zab. And here's somebody else who disappears in the sand. A sand boa. Do you want to see why she's called a sand boa? Watch this. Sand boas are really neat. Like their name says, they live in the sand. And you can see how her head is shaped kind of like a shovel to go digging through the sand. Wow. Look, she's digging and disappearing. She's going, going, going. She's gone right underneath the sand. <laughs> oh my God, Zika, look, the camel's drinking. <laughs> wow. Listen to how the camel slurps up the water. And he's still drinking. He goobered me. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the day. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing. Have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Sand is fun, but mango is better. Bye, Chris. Bye, Martin. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. <laughs> you know, one thing's for sure. What's that? I can't wait to hit the water. Yeah, me too. Sand always makes me want to go scuba dive. See you later, camel. Yeah, eat as much as you want.
Hello, my name is Martin. This is my pet hamster. His name is Snoopy, and he's about a year old. Pets are great animal friends. Yeah, but every animal friend is different. Some like to play and be petted. Others are a little shy and can get scared if you get too close. That's why you should only go near an animal when an adult says it's okay. Right, Zabu? <laughs> to learn more about Zaboomafu, visit our website at pbskids.org. You can also write to the Kratz at this address. Now for some jokes from Zaboomafu. Did you know that skunks actually do handstands when they spray their skunk stink? These baby skunks are practicing their handstands. They're doing pretty good. I bet they'll be really stinky when they get big. Hey, Martin, why are skunks so smart? Why, up? Because they have lots of sense. Stinky sense. <laughs> stinky sense. What <laughs> stinky sense. Oh, I like that. Did you know that a baby chick has a special tip on the end of her beak called an egg tooth? That helps her crack out of her egg. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. Hey, Chris. Yes, yeah, Zob. What did one egg say to another egg? I don't know. What? <laughs> Get cracking. <laughs> a joke from Zaboomafu. Did you know that an elephant's long nose is called a trunk? And an elephant can breathe through it. Hey, Martin, what's big has a trunk and is blue all over? I don't know, Zav. What? An elephant holding his breath. <laughs> 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 Creatures. We're rounding the last bend, Chris. Oh yeah, we're gonna be there in record time. Yikes! Whoa! Ah, perfect timing. We got so hot rollerblading, we really needed that. <laughs> hey, let's call Zabu. Zabu Mafu! about Zabu. He doesn't like to get wet, at least not very often. Yeah, he's definitely not a water creature, but he loves drippy wet papayas. So, that's what we'll give him. Zabu papayas! Good munchies, Zab. You can munch on those all day. He loves papaya. Hi, great to see you. Ah, Loki. 
That means I'm full. Oh, you speak Malagasy? Well, yeah, a little bit. What I learned from you, buddy. Whoa, you're all drippy like the papaya. Uh, oh, just like the creatures I just saw. Who'd you see, Zop? Well, first they were swimming, and, and then they were walking. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess? There were four eyeballs on two round heads. That's because there were two creatures standing up straight and tall in the water. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. They were zipping and zooming as fast as a fish. and white feathered swimmers. Do you know who they are? We can figure this out. All right, wings like flippers. Hey, brothers, look. Webbed feet and a waddly walk. Hey, brothers, black and white feathers. I know who the mystery animal is, do you? Hey, brothers, look. Penguins. <laughs> yeah, penguins. Mystery animals are here. <laughs> They're African penguins. Guys, Penguins love water. Their whole bodies are built for swimming in the water. They're true water creatures. Wow, and feel those feathers. They're so smooth. They're really tiny, almost like scales. That helps the penguins in the water. And that's where they're going right now. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. They're, they're going right in the pool. Splish. Splash. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna call you Splish and Splash. Splish and Splash the Swimming Penguins. <laughs> Do you like those names? <laughs> hey, where are you going? They're both getting out of the pool. Hey, that was a pretty short swim. Yeah, especially for a penguin. For some reason, these penguins don't want to swim in our pool. I'm gonna find out why. <laughs> I don't know why. The water's great. Hey, Martin, be careful. It may be great, but it's wet. Too wet for me. Sam, oh. <laughs> you've been wet before, right? Huh. Yeah, but I don't want to get all wet today. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah. No, water's too wet for me. <sighs> hey, we have to find out why the penguins don't want to swim. Yeah, you're right, Zob. Penguins usually love being in the water. Maybe they just want to walk first. <laughs> penguins do a funny walk. Let's walk like a penguin. Try it. You can do it. That's the way. I'm doing it too. Even though they look kind of clumsy, penguins can travel long distances on those short little legs. You guys make good penguins. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> You're welcome. Whoa. <laughs> you got me, bro. Yeah. How come you guys are in the water and the penguins are out of the water? We love the water. But I wonder why the penguins don't. Oh, maybe they're hungry. I can't swim as good when I'm hungry. Hey, I know what to do. Let's go get a snack. Splish, splash to the snack machine. Lots of food here. I'll feed them. Penguin food coming up. Hey, is that all there is? One little piece of food for two penguins? Penguins oh. eat about 15 little fish a day. So we're gonna need a lot more food to feed these mm. penguins. I wonder what's wrong with this machine. It must be broken again. Time to bring out the big guns. Don't worry, Splish. Chris will fix it. Yes, he will. Hey! If this doesn't fix it, nothing will! Hey! He did it. Well, I guess that's one way to fix a food machine. Oh, penguins eat these funny nuts? 
Man, good secret. Those nuts are cold. These oh. are nuts, Zob. These are ice cubes. Ice cubes? Hm. Frozen water. Penguins eat ice? <laughs> Why do penguins eat ice? They don't eat ice. Hmm. But ice is great for cooling things down. Yeah. Iced tea. Huh? Mm. You want to try some, Zob? Oh, sure. That's a cold one. That's it. Cold. It's not cold. That's why the penguins aren't going into the pool. Stop. Remember when Chris and I went in the pool? Yeah, I remember. I don't know why. The water's great. The water was great for us, but it wasn't great for the penguins. You're right, Martin. The water's too warm for the penguins. Penguins love cold water because that's where the fish are. And African penguins have fat and feathers that let them stay warm in the cold water. Yeah, but if the water's too warm, the penguins get too hot. Yeah, so these African penguins are looking for cold water. I know what the penguins would like. What's up? Let's throw all the ice in the pool so the penguins will have great water to swim in. Let's see now. I think there's more ice in this box. Yeah. Whoa! Great idea, Zabu. You are one smart lemur. Here, take a load over. Oh, thanks. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's too cold. You forgot. I'm from Madagascar. I don't like the cold. Wow, those penguins are hot for ice. Well, that's because they want to cool off. Have you ever played ice basketball? Let's throw all the ice in the pool. Yeah! Whoa, 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 nice one! Good job, Chris. Oh, nice form, Martin. Oh, slam dunk. Martin's icing Chris. Whoa! Oops, sorry, Zob. That's okay. Hot, cold, and wet. Wet for me. Oh, hey, it worked, it worked. Penguins are going in the water now that it's cold enough for them. <laughs> Zabu, you really know how to help penguins chill out. Look at them go. Splish and splash are really splish splashing now. Hey, those penguins look like they're flying underwater. Yeah. This is where they belong, in the ice cold water. That's where they go fishing for food. Most penguins can dive down to 250 feet below the surface of the ocean. And some, like the emperor penguin, can dive even deeper than that. Well over 800 feet. I'm going in. What? No, 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 Two. no, no, Martin, Martin, you'll be too cold in that ice water. Remember? It's great for penguins, but not for Krat Brothers. You're right, Zob. Yeah. Penguins have fat and feathers to keep them warm in icy water. I don't. We'll need wetsuits hmm? to swim with these penguins. Wearing a wetsuit is like having feathers and fat, just like a penguin. It'll help us stay in the cold water longer. I'll be right back. Hmm? All right, another penguin coming in! All right, yeah! <laughs> Two crab penguins in the pool. Yeah. Woo. You guys are good penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sob. With our wetsuits on, we're just like penguins. You know, Chris, this ice really did the trick. Oh, oh sorry, Zabubafu. Hey, that reminds me of one time in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap, when all of a sudden, I bumped into Narchi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Great to see you. Hey, Zabu, want to play Goobleberry Ball? <laughs> sure, I said. So we played. I threw the Goobleberry Ball to Narchi, and he threw it back to me. <laughs> hey, Zabu, catch this. <laughs> it's my super duper double looper. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That was our only goobleberry. How are we gonna play now? But oh. suddenly, hey. the goobleberry oh, blew right back to us. Hey, hey where did that come from? Uh, who blew that goobleberry? Nobody. Okay, then, uh, who threw it? Me. Who's me? Yeah, who's me? Me. Phoebe. Huh? Phoebe wouldn't come out of the water. She was a water creature. But that was okay, because every time our ball went into the water, Phoebe got it. 
and we played loop de loop ball all day long. <laughs> hey, Phoebe, throw it over. Yeah, throw it back. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> the end. Chris, Martin, you know the best part? The best part of that story is that I didn't even have to get wet. Yeah. Well, I know one thing. Penguins and lemurs are the same in a certain special way. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I have a nose. Uh, oh, and the penguins have that pointy thing. Uh, that can't be it. That's a beak, Zob. Penguins use their beak to catch food. And they also use their beaks to clean their feathers. Uh, how am I like a penguin? Um, well, lemurs have long legs for jumping and... Uh, Oh, penguins have extra short legs. Yeah, penguins have short legs for steering in the water. Oh, I know now. I know how lemurs and penguins are the same. <laughs> Lay it on us, Sav. I have dark and white fur, and penguins have dark and white feathers. High five, Sav. You got it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm feeling penguinish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel penguinish. How about you? Penguinish. Penguin, penguinish. Penguinish. Hey, nice leap. I'm one cool bird sitting on an ice cube. Yeah. Penguinish. Hey, you know what? Ice is fun, but it sure is cold, even with our wetsuits on. Oh, yeah. Everybody out of the pool. Come on. Don't forget to walk like a penguin. are going home now. Bye, penguins! Come back for a swim anytime. Yeah, and a freeze, too. Incoming. Duck! Hey! <laughs> it's a lanner falcon. Wow, this is no duck. Of course not. It's a lanner falcon. Message from Jackie. Let's see what Jackie's doing. Open it. Hi, guys. I got a new fish today. Her name is Sunny, and she'll love her new home when she gets used to it. Moving's hard, even for a goldfish. When I brought Sunny home, I knew the water in the aquarium was a different temperature than the water in the plastic bag. And I didn't want to give Sunny a shock. But all I had to do was put the plastic bag into the aquarium and wait a while. And now, the water in the bag and the water in the aquarium are the same temperature. So I can let Sunny out of the bag. Look, I think she likes it. And she has new friends. I wish I could just go swimming in there with them. Boy, that'd be really fun. Jackie's right. It's so amazing to swim with water creatures. Not if you're a lemur. Blech. <laughs> yeah, swimming's too wet for Zabu. But for Krat Brothers, it's great. And are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Let's go swim with some of the most incredible water creatures of all. To the closet! They're going to the closet. All right, They're so going what do we need? A trip. <laughs> Water! <laughs> <laughs> and our scuba gear! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. No, they're they're coming, coming from the closet and, and they're headed out the door. <laughs> is full of incredible water creatures. They live, eat, and some even breathe underwater. Do you want to be a water creature? Come on, let's go! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, everything's so blurry. I can hardly see anything. Me neither. Well, we better go back up. Our eyes just aren't made for seeing underwater. Yeah, to be a water creature, you need special eyes that let you see underwater. We need our masks. These masks will help us see like water creatures. Yeah, come on. 
That's more like it. Dolphins! Hey, wait for us! You're swimming too fast! We'll never be able to keep up with those dolphins. Yeah, if we want to be a water creature, we need something to move us through the water. We need... Flippers! These will help us swim like water creatures. Let's go! Yeah, we're much better swimmers now that we're wearing flippers. Now we're swimming more like dolphins! Hey, but where'd the dolphin go? Oh, there you are! How can you guys swim so well when you're hardly even moving your bodies? You're just built for gliding through the water, aren't you? Whoa, nice turns! Hey, I've got an idea! If we really want to be a water creature, we need to do one more thing. You know what I mean, Chris? Yeah. We have to be able to breathe underwater. And to do that, we'll need... Scuba gear! So now we have air tanks so we can breathe underwater. Masks so we can see underwater. Flippers so we can swim underwater. Now we're... Water creatures! A stingray! Wow, there are all sorts of incredible water creatures down here. We're surrounded by them. A parrotfish. A green sea turtle. Hey, I'm gonna try to swim like her. Chris, look down. A puffer fish. A remora. And where there's a remora, there's sometimes a shark. Swimming with sharks is incredible. Swimming with all water creatures is incredible. But I guess we better head back to Animal Junction, bro. I'm right behind you. So's he. Wait till we tell Zabu about this trip. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> Sounds like we have company. Hey, Zab, what's happening? Whoa. While you were on your trip, a friend came by. Yeah, he's a big cat. Whoa, a jaguar. And we know this guy, he's been here before. Martin and I are playing with our cat friend, Jagwater. Hi, Jagwater. <laughs> that is one big paw. Hey, and you know something else? What? His paw is as big as your head. It is. Yeah. His, his head is as big as three of mine. He's got strong arms. Mine are so skinny. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. No, I have big and grabby balls. <laughs> I think Jaguar wants to play. How about some basketball? Yeah. Nice one, Chris. Look at those yellow eyes follow the bouncing ball. That's what big cats do when they're hunting. They follow the action, and then they pounce. But nothing's happening here. I don't think this jaguar wants to play basketball. I do. Whoa! Perfect. Jaguars love to swim. <laughs> Come on in. I think the jaguar wants to stay dry like me. Let's find out. OK. Throw it back in, Zob. <laughs> want to play in the water. <laughs> a jaguar is the only big cat you can call a water creature. A jaguar even hunts in the water. They're great at catching crocodiles, fish. Right now he's practicing his hunting. He's hunting basketballs. This water creature is having fun and loving the water. Jaguars are great swimmers, and they have wide feet for paddling. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Get that basketball! <laughs> You have to have fast eyes to follow these basketballs. <laughs> and a jaguar has them. Watch out, Sob. This jaguar is a real splasher. Whoa, whoa. Missed me. <laughs> I can hop and not get wet. Throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. I'm playing, too. Heads up, Sob. Oh, I caught it. I caught it. Hey, that reminds me of my story in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. Leap. No, I can help. 
sleep, and I left right between Narchi and Goobal. Well, hello, Zabu. Hi, Zabu. Goobal found a big patch of <coughs> Goobalberries. Yeah, they're over here. Yummy. <sighs> well, I'll help you eat them. Yeah, stand over there, and I'll blow them to you. Oh, okay. I don't want to help you eat them, too. Jimmy? Oh, hi. I don't know if I can catch two Goobalberries at once. Huh? I've got an idea. If we all want to help, then Narchi can blow the Goobalberries to Fibby, yeah. then Fibby throws it to Goobal, oh, yeah. then Goobal eats it. Well, it sounds complicated, but okay, I'm ready. Okay, here I blow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's what we did. Narchi blew the Goobalberry to Fibby, and Fibby got it and threw it to Goobal, and Goobal ate it, of course, and Goobal's belly filled up and got big and round. <laughs> Way to go! Goobal's belly is getting full. Oh, yep, that's my favorite kind of belly. The end. <laughs> Watch out, Sob, because you never can tell when a water creature's gonna what? shake! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Jag water. How come I'm always getting wet around here? <laughs> come on, Sob. Don't you like it just a little bit? Hey, you know what? Wet isn't so bad. You know what? Wet is okay! Wow! <laughs> so, I think you're turning into a water creature. Yeah, I want to be a water creature. I want to be a water creature. I can't yeah. believe my mind. Can you? <laughs> yeah, I want to be a water creature. Come on, guys, lay it on me. Soak me, okay? Is this the same Zabu? The water's too wet for me, lemur? No, I'm a water-loving lemur. I want to be a water creature. Come on, guys, throw me in, okay? Okay, come on, here. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Ready, Zab? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> He's a water creature-ish. Now he's a water creature, all right. Water creature-ish! <laughs> I'm a warlock! Oh, I love it! <laughs> water creatures are amazing! <laughs> and there are so many of them! And now there's one more! I'm a water creature, too! <laughs> I love getting wet! That's my favorite part, too, Zabu! <laughs> I feed them once a day. Hi, we're the Krat Brothers, and when we're outside Animal Junction, we never get too close to an animal we don't know. Remember, always give an animal her space. And if you're a kid, you should never get close to an animal unless an adult says it's okay. Hey, there's somebody we all know. Zabumafu! To learn more about Zabumafu, visit our website at pbskids.org. You can also write to the Krats at this address. And now for a joke from Zabumafu. Whoa! Hey, did you know that dogs love to play because they are hunters by nature? Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> yeah! That's why they love to run around and jump and grab things with their mouths. Yeah, because they're hunters by nature. <laughs> okay, Zabu, yeah? I've got a riddle for you. Okay. What time is it when you have two pug puppies and a bucket of balls? <laughs> It's playtime! <laughs> hey, puppies, come play with me! <laughs> hey, puppies, how are you? Hey, <laughs> no, 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 let go! <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey, hey! I'm stronger than you are! <laughs> Double whistle. 
And now for a joke from Zaboomafoo. I'm a lemur, but did you know that baby fish are called fry? Hey, Martin, Martin, I got a joke. What did the giant lemur say to the baby fish? What's up? How you doing, small fry? <laughs> <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> Several Giants. Oh, yeah, elephants, hippos, rhinos, lions, giraffes. I love hiking with the giant creatures of Africa. Hey, it's great to be back at Animal Junction. We've just been on a giant hike. Hmm, look up there. Those leaves would be a great snack for Zabu. He loves them. But I need to be a giant like a giraffe to get those. A giraffe is really tall, and that helps him eat the leaves from the tall trees. Need some help, Chris? Sure. Hop on! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Great idea, Martin! <laughs> How you doing up there, Chris? <laughs> Being a giant has its advantages. A lot of good leaves up here. You feel like a giraffe? Yeah, I'm up here at Giraffe Hike getting leaves. And I'm not alone. Zabu's here! Hey, Zabu, how are you doing up there? We're coming down. Good leaves down here, too. So, Zabu, who'd you see in the forest today? Well, you know Zabu. He never talks until he's filled his belly. I'll be right back. All right. Do you want a snack? What do you think Martin's gonna get for you? <laughs> yeah! Sabu, you want some mimosa leaves? Yeah! He loves those. those yummy leaves, they make me do big burps. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it, Zob. <laughs> Why don't you tell us who you saw in the forest instead? Oh, uh, I saw an amazing furry creature who's coming this way. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a big square head with two big teeth. And then he disappeared underwater. And this creature could swim. I mean, really swim. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A giant, swimming, plant-eating creature. Do you know who he is? Okay, so he is furry, furry, furry with a stubby tail. Square head with long, long teeth. Coughs, barks, eats grass. Oh, yeah. It's a capybara. Mystery of the Moss here. He's a giant like me. Can you believe that? And there's...
there's three of them. What manga seeker creatures? Wow, look at his funny walk. Giant who can jump. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, what a jump. Great job. What do you think about this copy of bars, Abu? Wow, he's really giant. Yeah. Yeah, giant like dinosaurs are giant. <laughs> Look at this guy. Definitely one of my favorite giants. The copy bar is a giant rodent. There's none bigger. Giant rodents. I love giant rodents. What's a rodent? Okay, rodents are furry little creatures with big front teeth who love to chew. Oh, okay. So squirrels are rodents and mice are rodents. Yeah, Zob. Rodents are really great creatures, but they're mostly pretty small. Check out the difference. Now that is one giant rodent. 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 It sounds my mouth funny. Hey, Cappy, you're way bigger than a mouse. And you're bigger than me, too. But you're not a giant. Monk, Sika! Here comes one of the most giant creatures I've ever seen. It's Toothbrush. <laughs> He's a giant. Yeah, almost as big as a dinosaur. Huh? Wow, you really are big. Toothbrush is my elephant friend. African elephants are big, all right, Zob. In fact, they're the biggest land mammals in the world. And you know, when other animals like gazelles see elephants coming down to the watering hole, they usually get out of the way. Being a giant, an elephant needs to drink a lot of water, 480 glasses a day. And she picks up all that water with her amazing trunk. I wonder what else an elephant can pick up with his trunk. Maybe even Chris. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Over here, Sub. Do you think an elephant could pick me up if I grew this big? I'm the biggest crat. That makes me a giant, too. I'm a giant amongst crats. How'd he do that? Hey, Animal Junction is looking a little small. Dinosaurs! Please talk about dinosaurs! <laughs> How about those giant feet? A capybara has four toes on each front foot and three toes on each back foot. How many do you have, Zabu? Well, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five on each hand. And my feet, too. See? One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, there you are. <laughs> I scared myself. Oh. Hold it, capybara. Don't need that guitar. How about an apple? I guess he likes it. A copy bar is an herbivore. That means he eats all kinds of things like grass, plants, fruit, and vegetables. Have you ever ate an apple with a copy bar? <laughs> hmm, giant creatures must have giant bellies. So I bet they're still hungry. I better get her a snack. All right, Zob. You hungry? I'll feed her, and you can help. No, not rhinoceros. <laughs> not walrus. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not mouse. Giant mouse, maybe. <laughs> ah, here it is. Capybara. There's three capybaras. I'll hit it three times. Come and get it. Happy bears always seem to take their time, don't they? Whoa, here comes somebody in a hurry. A red kangaroo. Wow, let's go say hi. Hey, kangaroo. How do you do? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh he's 
so tall. He's as tall as my tallest jump. Red kangaroos are six feet tall. The giants of the kangaroos. What about tall dinosaurs? We're giants. Weird. I know the capybaras love grass. Then why isn't she eating it? I don't know. Maybe she's not hungry. Hmm? Or maybe she likes a different kind of grass. Uh. I'll go get some. <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. Close one. <laughs> How'd this get here? Wow, that's wet. <laughs> Martin, you're all wet. <laughs> And I think that Capybara likes the wet water. He's going in. Swimming with the Capybaras. Water's too wet for me. Too wet for me today, anyway. Come on in, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the copy bar is just as at home in the water as he is on land. I've never seen rodents that can swim like that. Copybearers will eat grass on land, but they really like to eat it in the water. They eat grass like I eat leaves, but I like mine dry. <laughs> Here he goes, underwater, let the capybaras. How can he breathe underwater? He doesn't breathe underwater, Zob. A capybara holds his breath. Capybaras have incredible nose control. They can even close their nose when they go underwater, like this. And a capybara can hold his breath for up to five minutes. Wow, look at his webbed feet. Yeah, webbing makes a creature's foot bigger, and that makes it better for paddling. Bigger feet swim better. Yahoo, capybaras! Capybaras! I love capybara-ish! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel capybara-ish. How about you, capybara-ish? Feeling capybara-ish. Capybara-ish. I'm a water-loving giant splashing all around. You know, there are a lot of giants around here today. And here comes another giant plant eater, a camel. I mean Animal Junction. Come in, camel. The camel's happy now. <gasps> a yak. I think the camel likes me. <laughs> yeah, and a yak likes grass. He's a giant who lives on giant mountains. Wow, who's he? Hey, guys, who's the giant cat? Well, Zah, uh, the Siberian tiger is the biggest cat in the world. But there are lots of giants in the cat family. Like the leopard, the largest of the tree-climbing wildcats. Hey, and don't forget lions. A mountain lion's a big cat, too. And the white tiger is huge and really rare. Well, there's a big cat right behind you. A Siberian tiger. How did she get in here? Wow, she's such a giant. How can we miss her? <laughs> I don't know. A Siberian tiger is the giant of the cats. She reminds me of another orange giant from when I was in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I heard somebody say, Hey, zabu ba doo, -ba -doo. Huh? <laughs> You'll never see me here. <laughs> hey, who said that? It's me, Bugly. Oh, hi, Bugly. <laughs> hey, want to go for a ride on the back of a giant bug? Well, yeah. I, whoa, yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> whoa, yeah. I never Here knew that go. giant bugs could run so fast. Oh, yeah. It's because I have many legs, whoa. and every one of them whoa. is a giant leg. Oh, giant bugs do everything in a big whoa. way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. My giant legs help me run all day. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, but Duga 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 Bay, huh? do you want to go for a flyby to see a giant friend? Oh, yeah. Well, let's buzz off for a bug's eye view, my little leaping lemur. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And then we flew around and around the most giant creature in Sabu Land. Whoa. She's the biggest giant of them all. Mama, Mama Zaboomafuasaurus. Hi, Sabu. Hi, Bugly. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. The end. <laughs> Bye-bye, giants. Come back any time. See you later, capybaras. Bye. Giants are always welcome at Animal Junction. Whoa, incoming! Duck! Ooh. Wow. If he's a duck, he's the biggest duck I've ever seen. <laughs> he's not a duck, Zabu. He's a golden eagle. And he's a really fast bird. Yeah, golden eagles can fly as fast as 200 miles per hour. 200 miles per hour? How fast is that? That's fast. As fast as a race car. A race car? Hey, wow. A message from Jack. What is a race car? The animal helpers and I thought, what's the best way to make a giant tree? By planting a small tree. So we planted a tree in my backyard. And someday this little tree will grow into a big tree like that tree. And a big tree is a home to squirrels, raccoons, and birds. But this tree's got lots of growing to do first. Hey, guys, do all giants start off small, or are some giants born giants? That's a good question. What babies are big? Moose! Do you want to take a trip? They're Let's going go. to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. All right, Zob, this one's for you. Hmm? Ready, Martin? They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. Bye, up. We'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Tiger's going to teach me how to growl. <laughs> Kayaking is a great way to find a certain kind of giant. The biggest of all the deer, the moose. Moose love the water. They even have wide feet to help them swim. So keep your eyes peeled for a big furry blob grazing in the water. Let's go! one too. Moose love to eat water plants. They stick their faces underwater and grab plants with their big lips. Chris, let's try it. You're on, bro! I think I'll leave that way of eating to the moose. Yeah, I think you'd be hungry most of the time. <laughs> I know. But moose lips are great for grabbing as many water plants as that giant deer needs. Moose lips are so strong, they can clean all the leaves off a branch in one swipe. Like this. Ow! <laughs> you need moose lips. With one swipe of the head, moose lips can clean the leaves off a branch. getting in on the eating action, too. Eating the right kind of leaves is an important thing for a moose calf to learn. Leaves like maple, ash, and birch are all good for a moose. It'll take a lot of eating the right kind of leaves to turn this little calf into a big moose, a giant among deer. Hey, Chris, there's another giant we weren't even looking for. Giant mosquitoes! It's time to get out of here to the kayaks! Animal 
Junction. Rawr! Something's Work. going on here. Yeah. Do you want to find out what? Come on. Rawr! The Siberian tiger. Yeah. Martin, Chris. The tiger and me are roaring. You want to hear? Yeah. Sure thing, Zob. Okay. You want to make tiger sounds too? <clears throat> Great one, Zabu. True tiger potential. Roar about dinosaurs, please. I like tiger sounds like I like tiger pouncing. And this tiger likes pouncing on balls. So, which do you think a tiger likes playing better? Soccer or basketball? Let's find out. Soccer! <laughs> she likes soccer! <laughs> I'll call you Popper. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's it for the soccer ball. What else we got? Let's see. Hmm, how about a basketball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Zombie. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. Uh-oh. She popped another one. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do now? I got a ball. I hope Popper doesn't pop this one. Here, Popper. Oh. <sighs> Popper popped our last ball. That was her last ball. Now the tigers pounced on and popped all the balls at Hannibal Junction. <laughs> oh. Wow, she's got giant teeth like dinosaurs. Yes, huh? <laughs> and one dinosaur who had really giant teeth was T Rex. And Triceratops had a giant head plate and horns for protection against the giant teeth of T Rex. And we can't forget about the duck-billed dinosaurs, who had giant bills on their faces. And of course, there was Ankylosaurus. He had a giant club tail that he probably used to scare off enemies. Long ago, the world was filled with giants. Yay, dinosaurs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! That reminds me of more dinosaurs I saw in Zabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along. Leap. Leap, leap. And the ground shook. Whew, I jumped into a tree to see what was going on. It was my giant friend, Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. She said, I have a joke for you. Want to hear it? OK, I'm ready. Do you know why dinosaurs are extinct? Hmm. No, why are dinosaurs extinct? Oh, it's because our eggs stink. Well, Zabumafuasaurus <laughs> thought this was so funny, she started to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. She laughed so hard, she started to shake, and I slipped off her head and slid all the way down her back. Whee! <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah, again. And we did. Again and again and again. And we had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like sliding down the back of a giant friend. Again, Zabumafuasaurus. Whoa! <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's my mom. Playing with giants is great. You're right, Zab. I love giant creatures, like tigers. Giants, giants rule! rule. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and 
swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. What's up, Zop? Still feeling capybarish? Actually, I was wondering, do you maybe have some yummy leaves? They'd be a nice goodbye snack. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> This looks like a job for... Whoa, what? A giant wow. crab! How do you do that? Thanks, bro. How's the weather up there? Fantastic! Here you go, Zob. <sighs> ah, leaves. Green is a yummy color. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bye, crab brothers! See you later, Zabu. Happy jumping. What now, Chris? Hmm. Hey, I bet there are some giants in the mountains that we can see before sundown. Let's get going. We'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Giants, here we come. Hi, I'm Hannah. This is my cat named Zabu. Cats are great animal friends. Yeah, but every animal friend is different. Some like to play and be petted. Others are a little shy and can get scared if you get too close. That's why you should only go near an animal when an adult says it's okay. Right, Zabu? <laughs> to learn more about Zaboomafu, visit our website at kids.pbs.org. You can also write to the Kratz at this address. Now for some jokes from Zaboomafu. Did you know that black bears are really good at climbing trees? The sharp claws on a bear's feet help a lot. Whoa! Human bear feet aren't as good at climbing as bear bear feet. Hey, Martin. Yes, sir. What does a dog have fur? I don't know. Because if he didn't, he'd be a little bear. <laughs> good joke, huh, Muscles? Did you know that there are about 133 different kinds of monkey in the world? This is a capuchin monkey. Hey, Martin, I have a joke for you. What did the capuchin say to the Krat brothers? What's up? Monkey around! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fling. Fling the capuchin monkey. Zabu <laughs> 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 Now for a joke from Zaboomafu. Did you know that all lemurs come from a place called Madagascar? Hey, Chris, I got a joke for you. What? What did the lemur get when she cut her hand on the thorn bush? I don't know. What? A Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> Madagascar. Good one, Zab. Thanks. <laughs> Chris loves my jokes. <laughs> Leaping lemurs from Madagascar. <laughs> Chris. Woo! We made it! 
Cargo secure, Martin? All secure. Today, we're filling up the animal snack machine. Look at this. We have all kinds of snacks for all kinds of creatures. We have grapes. Grapes. Carrots. Carrots. Watermelon. <laughs> oh. Watermelon. Celery. Hey, you know who loves celery? Yeah, Sabu! Sabu Mafu! Sabu! Sabu! Where's Sabu? We've been calling him forever. I don't know. Do you see Zabu anywhere? Ooh. Zabu! Chris, look up! <laughs> hey, Zabu! You're a pretty sneaky lemur, buddy. Sabu. I'll get Sabu a snack. Celery. Sabu, how about celery? <laughs> Here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah. There you go. And I'm gonna have a piece, too. You all filled up, Sam? Yeah, I'm Vuki. Celery feels good in my belly. Whoa! I'm sitting on top of Snack Mountain. <laughs> yeah, these snacks will last a long time. That's because in Animal Junction, there's a snack for every animal visitor. Pass it over. <laughs> and an animal visitor for every snack. Hey, Sam, toss one in. This one's going right down the hatch. The toucan's hatch! <laughs> Eat up, toucan. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Zob. Thanks. It's a good thing we got a lot of snacks. The animal I saw looked hungry. Really? Who was she? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? black and furry all over. A little wobbly, too. So I think he was still practicing using those big, round paws of his. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. <laughs> he had a black nose, a lot like mine. <laughs> So let's see. The mystery animal is furry. Yeah, furry and, uh... And he has a black round body. Small ears and a stubby tail. Zabu's talking about... Oh, Mongo Tsika, the mystery animal's here. Oh, a black bear cub. Mongo Tsika, a baby bear. Welcome here, bear cub. Yeah, he's a cub, so he's a little shy. <laughs> He's coming over to say hello. This could only happen in Animal Junction. Hey, buddy, how you doing? A four-month-old cub. It'll take him about four more years to become a full-sized bear. And when a bear grows up, he can weigh up to 500 pounds. That's as heavy as a grand piano. He's so round and furry. I'm gonna go give him a big bear hug. Hang on a second, Sabu. You know, in the wild, you should never get too close to baby bears because their mothers are very protective and always close by. And there she is. She's close by, all right. Good mother. Oh, I think maybe the mommy bear wants us to look after the bear cub. <laughs> well, this is the place. Yeah, because Animal Junction is the only place where it's okay to get close to a bear. We'll take good care of you, baby bear. I like Bear Cub all the way from his wet bear nose to his short, stubby bear tail behind. Baby bears are a lot like human babies. They have to learn how to do things just like people do. Do you want to help us teach this cub how to do things bear style? 
I'll teach him how to climb. Watch this. I usually leap and jump when I climb, but I think bear style's a little different. Hey, climb. Like this. Good move. Come on over here. Show me how you climb the post. Yeah, come on. Hey, you're pretty good. Oh, are you sure a better climber than me? Uh, I can't climb at all. Whoa, how'd you get way up there? I love climbing bear style. See those paws? Bears have big paws and sharp claws. Bear feet are perfect for climbing. Bears can climb anywhere. Hey, I have bear feet. I'm climbing bear style too. Human bear feet aren't as good at climbing as bear bear feet. Hey, Martin. Yes, sir. I taught him how to climb. Great, Zob. He learned it really fast. <laughs> climbing is one thing that bear cubs learn fast. Did you know that when a black bear is young, he can climb better than he can walk? Well, you should stick with me. The Crack Brothers still need to learn how to climb. Well, they're not as good as us. Yeah. That's nice. Ooh, bear kisses. <laughs> you really like me. Ooh, hey, you know what I'm gonna call you? Muscles, because you're a strong climber. Great name, Zob. Muscles the Climber. Hey, Martin, remember when we were creature adventuring in bear country? Yeah. And we saw why black bear cubs are such great climbers. I remember it well. We saw two little bear cubs playing while Mom was out looking for food. But then, all of a sudden, they heard something coming through the woods. <gasps> who was it? Well, they stood on their hind legs to find out who was making the noise. Uh huh. But they couldn't see anything. So what did they do? They climbed up a tree where they knew they'd be safe. Yeah, climbing, climbing. But who was making the noise? You're never going to guess who was making the noise. Who? It was their mom. Mom? <laughs> and once the cubs saw who it was, they knew they were safe. So they climbed right down to say hi to mom. <laughs> I like that. Come on over, muscles. I've got something for you. Sob, come on down. <laughs> It's bear cub snack time. What are you gonna feed him? Milk. Oh. Oh, come on, muscles. Don't be shy. Ooh, he's a noisy eater. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you wanna make the sound a bear cub makes when he's drinking? Yeah. Okay. I bet his mom isn't so messy when she feeds him. <laughs> come on, Zab, give me a break. I'm just filling in. I'm not a bear. <laughs> You know, a grizzly bear mom feeds her cubs about four times a day. And black bear cubs, they need a lot of food, too. How are you doing? Are you getting enough? I think he's Wookie, Martin. Yep. He has a little bear belly full of milk. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, over here. Huh? Hey, what's he doing? It's foraging time. Wait for me. Come on, muscles. This bear cub's four months old. That's about the time when he starts to taste food and learn foraging. Foraging means looking for food, and a bear cub learns how to forage from his mom. She'll even teach him how to dig for roots, insects, and other things that are underground. See, there's some corn, there's celery. Do you like celery? I love celery. What do you got? Yeah, try the celery, it's good. So let me forage around and see if I can find anything else the bear thinks is tasty. <laughs> I think Muscles thinks I'm tasty. <laughs> How about a carrot? He's taking a taste. A carrot? But he's not ready to eat it yet. Right now, he's just taking little tastes of things to see what everything's like. There's got to be something tasty in here somewhere. Oh, no, no, don't bite on me. <laughs> Martin sock? What's a sock? We wear them, Zob. <laughs> on your head? <laughs> like this? No, on our feet. Ugh, stinky. <laughs> Ugh. 
That looks good on you, Zabu. But that's my sock. I've been looking for my missing sock. <laughs> Don't worry. Your mom will teach you how to forage for food, not socks. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, 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 that tickles. No, 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 no nibbling. No, no, hey, guys, no, no, no. let's teach mussels how to forage for catfish. Watch closely, mussels. Sock. My sock! <laughs> <laughs> Chris cut a sock, not a fish. Hey, mussels, I don't think that's how bears fish, but don't worry. Your mom will teach you how to catch a fish, not a sock. <laughs> bears are natural born swimmers. Swimming is one thing they don't have to learn how to do. Bears swim doggy paddle style, and they love fooling around and wrestling in the water. Muscles, you done already? Muscles is done swimming, and you know what? I feel bearish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bearish. How about you? Bearish. I feel bearish. Whoa! Bearish. Whoa! I'm round and roly-poly, I'm a baby black bear! Bearish! Did you hear that? I heard it. A big male bear! Muscles, where are you going? A male bear can get grumpy with the cub, so that's why the mother bear teaches her cub to stay out of his way. And that's why the cub climbed up the crow's nest. So even Muscles gives Big Bear his space. I better, too. One lemur cub coming up. Well, it's safer up here, but... Wow, are you really gonna grow up to be as big and strong as him? Well, I guess if I want to get big bear muscles, I better work out. Okay, ready? One, two. Um, is this really how you do bear push-ups? Two. Three. Four. Five bear push-ups. I'm done. I can't do any more. No, 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 don't tickle. No, 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 that tickles my ear. Yeah, it sounds like the mother bear. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> it's Mommy Bear. She came to pick up her cub. And there goes the cub. Hey, see you later, buddy. Bye, Bear Cub. She'll teach him bear stuff much better than we can. Back with Mom. That's where he belongs. Living free and in the wild. Bye, Muscles and Muscles Mom. Hey, look at this. He found the snack baskets we brought. I can't believe my mind. I want to eat like that big old bear. <sighs> okay, Zav. First on the bear menu, strawberries. Strawberries. Oh, these are good. Keep packing it in, Zav. Good. Keep on eating, Zav. We have to keep up with the bear. I'm glad I'm eating you like a bear. Uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm vookier than vooky. <laughs> My bear belly's busting. <laughs> Mine too. Mine three. Hey, hey, you know what? That reminds me of my buddy, Google in Sabu land. So I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 when I saw Google. Hello, Google. How are you? And Google said, oh, I'm sad. My Google belly's empty, and I can't find any Google berries to fill it anywhere. I know where some Google berries are. Follow me, 
So I let Google to a Googleberry patch. Oh, coming. <gasps> See? <gasps> Googleberries. Google was so happy, he started singing. <laughs> Googleberries. Googleberries. I love to gobble Googleberries. Googleberries, Googleberries. They fill my Google Google gobbled belly. so many Googleberries that his Google belly grew big and round. I said, your belly is full now, Google. And he said, no, we can take a long, long nap. And we did. And Google slept through the whole winter. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zob. I have to try Goobleberry. Oh, you have to go to Zabu land to get them. Look, the big bear's still eating. How come bears eat so much? Winter's coming soon. And a bear sleeps through the whole winter. Since they don't eat again until after the snow melts, bears have to fill their bellies now. For a bear, a full belly means it's time to take a long, long nap. What <laughs> Google? A full bear belly sure makes you sleepy, doesn't it, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a full bear belly sure makes you sleepy, doesn't it, Chris? Chris? <laughs> well, trust me, a full bear belly makes you <sighs> very sleepy. Fast enough, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a duck, it's Moonface. The barn owl. Yeah, hey, Moonface, we ate like bears. Hey, let's see what Jack is up to. Hi, guys. My parents and I are camping in bear country. The number one rule with bears is give bears their space. I love bears, but the best way to see a bear is with binoculars from the car. Look! A big black bear. Remember, give bears their space. Jackie really knows how to act around bears. <gasps> the bear's finished filling his belly. He's heading out. He must be going to find a place to sleep for the winter. You want to help him? Yeah. Great. Sounds like a trip to me. Woo! They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> they're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Martin, he's going this way. Now where can this bear sleep? Hey, our bear could sleep here. Yeah, bears like to sleep in caves and rock crevices just like this. Just like lots of other animals, like a cougar, a porcupine, or a fox. A red fox. Now, a red fox's home is called a den. He'll pick a hollow log or cave to live in. It looks like this place is already taken. Let's move on. Look, there's another bear. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's watch. They're wrestling, and it looks like they're having fun. <laughs> bear wrestling's fun. Back to the search. Hey, how about that log over there? That might work. Look, he's checking it out. He's going in. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. All right. It looks like the bear finally found a good place to sleep. Yeah, and now that he's got a full belly, he's ready for his winter sleep. Sleep well, bear. <laughs> Whoa. Am I tired? Yeah, that bear had the right idea. Winter sleep. Hey, where's Albert? I don't know. 
Maybe he jumped out for a while. Well, he'll be back. <laughs> Just wait for it right here. are one of the greatest sniffers around. And these little sniffers are sometimes called nose bears. Nose bears, yeah! Well, they have long noses, but wait a second. They don't look anything like bears. Exactly, Zob. That's because coatis are coatis, not bears. <laughs> but they climb like bears all over me. Hey, look. What? what? That coati nose found someone else. Let's see who it is. A kinkajou. Kinkajous are sometimes called honey bears. Of course, another bear. She's furry with a long tail. Wait a second. She doesn't look like a bear either. You're right, Zob. A kinkajou's a kinkajou, not a bear. Sometimes people call them honey bears because they like to eat honey. Hmm. Over here! A kinkajou has a long tongue that is great for sticking into beehives and licking out that tasty honey. Wow, look at them go. He really does have a long tongue. Hey, Martin, what other bears aren't really bears? Well, you have wolverines who are sometimes called devil bears, but wolverines are really giant weasels. And a wolverine is so strong, she can drag up to five times her body weight. That would be like me dragging Martin. socks they're everywhere hey guys a story just dropped into my head from sabu land i was leaping along leap 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 <laughs> leap leap when i heard narchi and Google talking you been, Google? Well, taking a long nap hi zabu hi narchi hi zabu hi Google. how was your long long nap oh great zabu Google, are you a bear well, I don't think so. Because you love to eat berries so much, and you take long naps, too. Oh, but Sabu, those aren't just any berries. They're oh, oh, gooble berries. And only goobles oh, oh, gobble gooble bear. I guess you're right, Google. You do some bear things, but you're a gooble, not a bear. Besides, I can't climb at all. I need Wiggy to help me. Oh, help! Oh, help! Hey, why don't we climb up Mount Sabumafu to see Snow Lemur? <laughs> So Wiggy, Google, and I went all the way up Mount Sabumafu. Oh, hello, climbers. Yeah. We made it! <laughs> you know, Google does sound a lot like a bear. Except I'd never heard of a Google before. Me neither. Well, you guys need to come to Zabu Land sometime. Martin, your sock! Oh, no! Hey! Come back! Shh! You'll wake the kinkajou up. Thanks, Zob. But at least I know who's been taking my socks. <laughs> Today was a very great day. I like playing with my pal Muscles, the bear. Yeah, and I love being woken up by the quaddies. Yeah. I liked finding the big black bear a place to sleep for the winter. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his fine big behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. All right, so the bear cleaned us out. Now we're gonna have to start all over and get more snacks. We better bring some warm clothes, too. Winter's coming on fast. See you next time. My name's Samantha, and this is my dog, Bear. 
Hi, we're the Kraft Brothers, and we never get too close to an animal we don't know. Remember, always give an animal her space. And if you're a kid, you should never get close to an animal unless an adult says it's okay. Hey, there's somebody we all know. Sabufu! To learn more about Zabumafu, visit our website at kids.pbs.org. You can also write to the Kratz at this address. And now for a joke from Zabumafu. Now this might look like a black panther to some people, but it's not. It's a water-loving black jaguar. Knock, knock. Who's there? Panther. Panther who? Panther, no pants. I'm going swimming. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's up, you okay? Yeah, yeah, just fine. <laughs> Panther, no pants, I'm going swimming. <laughs> joke from Zabumafu. Did you know that a yak can live on mountaintops where it's below freezing for eight months of the year? Hey, Martin, which animal talks the most? Hmm, I give up. A yak. <laughs> Get it? Yak, 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 some grass in Animal Junction, so the African crown crane we've been seeing will fly in for a visit. Yeah, what an African crown crane likes to eat is in here, from the tips of the grass to the yummy insects that live inside. You'd better take off, buddy. We have some grass, but we need a lot more. So, let's get back to planting. Oh! Uh. Oh. Mm. If only we had horns. <laughs> yeah, you can bet that when bighorn sheep butt heads, those big horns really come in handy. Their horns help protect their heads when they headbutt. Do you think we should call Zabu? All right. Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey, Zabu! Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> see if you can find me, Zab. Sabu, over here. <laughs> Woo. I'll get Sabu a snack.
Hey, Zabu! I've got some sweet potato. Want a piece? There you go. Keep on munching, buddy. Give me some of the to see you. All right, Zob. If we grow a lot of grass, we might get an African crowned crane to visit. You want to help us? Yeah, let's plant some grass. Grass. That's what the creatures I saw today were eating. They were eating and playing and having fun. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had big, hard toenails. When I saw him, he was jumping around. <laughs> His legs were strong, but springy, springy, springy. Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Paul Gutska. Paul Gutska. He liked to go <laughs> and eat lots of grass. He liked it a lot. <laughs> Horny-headed grass eater. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's see. Split hooves makes a ma sound. The horns on the head is the dead giveaway. Sounds to me like ghosts. ghosts. Ah, mystery animals are here. Dig those crazy legs. <laughs> An African pygmy goat and her kid. Her kid? A baby goat is called a kid, just like you are. Wow. You want to try a little grass seed? Don't eat too much, though. We need it for the cranes, right? She really likes it. Hey, goats, don't eat all that grass seed. Save some of it for the crowned crane. He'll be hungry, too. Look at those spiky horns on her head. Manga Zika. Spikes. I love them. <laughs> and the kid has two popping up, too. Oh, yeah. You know, a goat's horns never stop growing, kind of like your fingernails. Different creatures have amazing things on top of their heads. Fur feathers horns. They're the amazing creature lids. Feathery lids. Loose skin lids. Horn lids. Spiral lids. Branched lids. All kinds of lids for all kinds of creatures. I can't believe my mind. This is really flipping my lid. More goats! It's a goat invasion! Wow! They must have smelled all the grass growing in Animal Junction. Come on in! The more lids, the merrier! <laughs> goats! And sheep, too! These goats are making themselves right at home in Animal Junction. I think Animal Junction just turned into Sheep and Goat Junction. <laughs> What's he doing? That baby goat is drinking milk from his mother's, huh? Oh, yeah. But how do you know he's a goat and not a sheep? The way you tell a difference between a goat and a sheep is to look at their chin. Goats usually have beards, and sheep usually don't. Oh. Okay, okay, I get it. So that's a goat. Because he's got a beard. And that's a sheep, see? No beard. Right on, Zob. We're a herd of sheep and goats. Mangatsika, I bet I can make a sound like a little goat. Want to hear me? Okay. <laughs> uh, brothers, they're eating all the grass. Whoa, maybe I should get this out of the way. Goats and sheep love eating grass and plants. And we're gonna need this grass for the crown crane. But we'll get you guys some of your favorite food from the snack machine. In fact, goats will eat just about anything, including my T-shirt. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You want to eat my T-shirt? Oh. <laughs> 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 
That's what happens when you get in the way of a Barbados ram. Well, we don't want to get in his way, but if we don't get to the snack machine and fast, the goats and sheep are going to eat everything we planted. Uh-oh. Better hurry up, guys. You're right, Zabubafu. Come on, Chris. To the snack machine. Okay, go food. Uh-oh. I think the snack machine's broken. Yeah. Hold on a second. I think maybe we just need a little adjustment here. I hope this works, Martin. Okay. Mm. Uh-oh. The snack machine's really broken. Whoa. The goats and sheep really like those plants. Maybe we could put the plant somewhere where the sheep and goats can't get it until we fix the snack machine. Good idea, Zop. Might as well give it a try. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's one. The grass will be safe there. Another one. Going up. Gotta get at that grass before you guys eat it all. Oh, you guys are a mess. Oh, we gotta eat the plant. Here you go, Chris. All right, pass it right over. Thanks. Don't worry, we'll fix the machine. Then you'll have lots of snacks to eat. All right, another one's off. Way to go. Here you go, Chris. All right, going up. Okay, back to the snack machine. Okay. All right, Zob, you watch the plants, we'll fix the snack machine. Sure, no problem. No goats will get up here. It'll be easy. Here. Wild goats are great climbers, Zob. Well, how do they do it? They've all got broken feet. Well, their feet aren't broken, Zob. That's how they're supposed to be. Goats and sheep have split hooves, and that helps wild goats climb up steep, rocky cliffs. Really? Yeah. And baby goats and sheep, like baby doll sheep that live in the wild, practice climbing when they're really young so they can get around in the mountains where they live. Yes, he can. I can't believe my mind. Goats are incredible. Putting the plants high is not going to work. We just have to fix that snack machine and fast. Yeah, yeah. We better get that snack machine fixed really soon because the sheep and goats are really hungry. Hey, baby goat, watch out for the edge. Guys, guys, hurry. Watch it. Baby goat's going to fall. Whoa. We have to save the kid before that happens. I'll get him! Chris, the kid! What a leap! He's okay because baby goats are great leapers. Big male rams aren't always nice to baby goats. Or to Martin. <laughs> Remember what happened to Martin when that Barbados ram butted him? <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to give rams their space. Different creatures use their horns for different things, besides just pushing other creatures around. A moose can use his lid to scratch an itch on his foot. Martin, sheep and goats are still eating the grass. The snack machine still isn't working. And, uh-oh, the grass is almost all gone. They eat more than anyone I know. And I know some big eaters. Whoa, that's my tail. You're not supposed to eat that. Guys, can't you fix this snack machine? Look out for the ramp. Whoa! <laughs> Head. You remind me of my friend Noggin Drill from Zabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along, leap, 
Leap. Leap. When I heard my friend Noggin drill. Hey, Google, let's dance. Google okay. was there too. Oh, okay, Noggin drill. I hopped over to say hello. Hello, Google. Oh. Hello, Noggin Joe. Oh, Zabu. What are you doing? Oh, we're going to dance. You want to join us? Oh, yeah. Show me your moves. Okay, watch this. Oh, my turn. Oh, step ball change. <laughs> this is great. Hey, guys, how about this move? Wow, the super duper lid spin. And everyone came from near and far to see Noggin Drill's new dance move. Oh, that was amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Noggin Drill, that was a great move. Oh, thanks, Zabu. Everybody danced and celebrated because of Noggin Drill's super duper lid spin. Yes. Oh, do it again, again Noggin, Noggin Drill. Drill. Yeah, do it again. The end. <laughs> Could you do the super duper lid spin too? With those horns, huh? What's that? Sometimes the snack machine is a little temperamental. This ought to do it! I think it's working. Pretty soon you're gonna be Vuki. You'll have all kinds of yummy, delicious food. <laughs> Guys, do you really think it'll work? Let's try it. <laughs> Ready? Uh oh. Uh oh's right! She's gonna blow! Whoa! The snack machine's really broken this time! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining snacks! My favorite kind of rain! Come and get it, Lids! Well, it looks like it's the goat and sheep's favorite kind of rain, too! <laughs> Look at that munch! Monk and Zika, they like the food from the snack machine. Yeah, like I said, goats and sheep will eat just about anything. That guy loves the apples. <laughs> hey, they really like the corn, huh? Yeah. Hey, these guys are using their lids. <laughs> Pushing each other out of the way to get food. If you're gonna try to eat with the sheep, you need good protective headgear like they have. Going in. Good luck, Chris. Oh, those sheep know how to use their hands at the yep. Yep. Thank you. Uh -oh. That little goat's trying to help you, Chris. It's a good thing I have this helmet on. These sheep have strong heads. <laughs> okay, you win. Whew. Come on, Google, let's butt heads too. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. All these lids are making me feel goatish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel goatish. How about you, goatish? I feel goatish. Goatish. <laughs> I'm a pointy-headed goat, but I feel sheepish too. Goatish. Hey, guys, guess who's here? Hey, Bradley! Hey! How are you doing? Come on in! He's with a Border Collie. Border Collies can learn to round up sheep. <laughs> All right. Come on, Chip. Come on, Bradley. So, you wanted some help getting your goats and sheep? We fed them up for you, Bradley. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Bradley, your dog, Trim. Hey, Trim. Don't forget Baby Goat, he's here! Bradley, don't forget this little goat. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye, Bradley. See you, Trip. Bye, sheep. Bye, goats. You know, it was great hanging out with the goat and sheep all morning. And we still have grass left for the African crowned crane. Yeah! <laughs> Incoming! Duck! Duck. It's Moonface. The barn owl mm -hmm. with a special delivery. I can't believe all the incredible creatures I saw today. And they all had amazing lids. Like a banana slug. Those things that look like horns are called antennae. Then I saw a luna moth. Look at those amazing antennae. A Luna Moss antennae can help him smell. 
In fact, a male Luna Moth can smell a female Luna Moth from miles away. Wow, if I can smell something that far, I'd be able to smell my pie crumbs. From farther than here. Even farther than here. And I'd be able to smell my pie from even farther than here. Yep, if I were a Luna Moth, I'd probably be able to smell my pie all the way from here. Okay, I have a great idea. Let's go out into the wild to see horns, antlers, and all sorts of other lids to the closet. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on Are you ready? The trip. Let's go. They're going to the closet to <laughs> grab their stuff and split. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Binoculars. They always come in handy. See you, Zabu. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. All right. Let's go and find out what those animals are doing with their lids. We have ours! <laughs> Chris, look out for that rock! What rock? Whoa! Oh. 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 Yikes! Oh. <laughs> are you okay, Chris? Yeah, no problem. My helmet protected my head. Yeah, just like his horns are protecting his. Pronghorn antelope. Incredible. Hey, and look at them lid wrestle. Pronghorn antelope fight with their horns to find out who's the most powerful male. They fight hard, but they don't hurt each other because those horns lock into each other, keeping them from banging their heads too hard. Just like my helmet protected my head when I hit the ground. Lid wrestling's over, and now everyone can get back to grazing. And we can get back to riding. Don't forget your lid, Chris. No way. All right. Hey! Woo! Woo! Martin, look out for the brand! What brand? All right, Martin? Yeah, thanks to my lid. Ooh, but I do hear a cracking sound. That cracking sound's not coming from in your head. It's coming from their heads. Moose! And moose use their antlers to fight for females, just like the pronghorns do. It looks rough, but moose antlers are also designed to protect their heads when they fight, so no one gets hurt, just like my helmet. Moose are so cool and so big. And getting even bigger because he's heading right towards us. Oh my gosh. Maybe he wants to headbutt us. I know, but I don't think our helmets will stand a chance against his antlers. You're right, bro. We better get back to Animal Junction. I'm right behind you. Woo. Our helmets sure came in handy today. Oh yeah. So Chris, you think our plan worked? I don't know. Sounds pretty quiet in there. Let's check it out. Come on. Hey guys, guess who's here? An African crowned crane. All right. Are you sure you don't want any more? Hey, <laughs> our plan to get the African crowned crane to visit Animal Junction worked. How long has it been here, Zod? Well, ever since you guys left. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like the grass? Oh, he ate and he ate and he ate and then he ate some more. Wow. Great. An African crowned crane stomps around in the grass to scare up insects to eat. When the